Hi there. Let's take a look at an AS Micro multiple choice question looking at the effect of a maximum price on the market. Here's the question. The diagram below shows the supply and demand curves for a product. The initial price is P1. Of course, that's the equilibrium price, the market clearing price. And we now have a maximum price imposed of P max that lies below P1. And we're asked what is the most likely effect on the market. Of course, the, the maximum price is a price ceiling. The price cannot rise above that level, and it's only effective if it's set below the equilibrium, which in this case it has been. So maximum price is a price ceiling. At that maximum price, consumers would like to buy more. Demand expands to Q2, but suppliers, producers, they won't supply as much. Their supply will contract to Q3, creating an excess demand in the market. The correct answer is that the amount sold is now Q3. Just working through A is wrong, the amount sold won't increase because producers won't supply Q2. Demand is Q2, but suppliers will not supply that. B is wrong, it does not encourage producers to increase production. In fact, the reverse, the maximum price can discourage supply. And indeed, the maximum price will take supply down from Q1 to Q3. Equilibrium price and quantity remain at P1 and Q1. Well, of course, the maximum price has been set below the equilibrium, so it becomes effective. It, in other words, it's going to have an impact. So D is right. The amount sold in the market is now going to be quantity Q3. That's the quantity that will be sold after the maximum price has been established.